Hey everyone, welcome back to the Whitaker Way. So in today's episode, I'm gonna show you a little bit more in detail how we get our water. So we don't have a well yet, and so we use spring water. Um, we made a video a while back on that, so you can take a look at that video if you want. But I'm going to show you how we collect it, the barrels we put it in, and how we get it up to the cabin. So to get the water, we bring the side-by-side -side down here, down to our spring, and we bring some five-gallon buckets with us. And as you can see here, we have our big barrel that's supplied up from the spring there. So our water's flowing nice. Coming out the overflow pipe. And we're gonna fill some five gallon buckets here. Oh, yeah. Here I get the lid. Yep, hold on. Thank you. That's a All right, we've got our buckets ready to go. So now we're going to go ahead, close it, take this up to the cabin. So now we're back at the cabin here, and this is the drum now we're going to fill the water with. And as you can see here, it's got a tube here with a pump, and that goes into the cabin that supplies our water for the sink and the toilet. So we are in the cabin now underneath the kitchen sink and you can see here is the pump and battery. So the battery powers the pump and you can see the pump here, that clear tube there is the tube that comes out of the 50 gallon drum that was outside and then it connects into the blue tubing which then supplies the sink and then it also goes, if you can see there, underneath the cabin. And that is what goes underneath um, and goes to the toilet so that we can have running water for the toilet. So here we are in the bathroom and you can see down here is where the water comes in from under the cabin and connects to the toilet so that it will fill up when it's used. So obviously, um, with this being a three season cabin, um, we have to turn the pump off. Usually it's around, I don't know, late October into November, depending on when the first frost is. Um, but we can usually wait until then, until we have to actually turn everything off and do everything manually. 
you can also see here we have a shut off and connector for the hot water but we currently don't have hot water here our goal is hopefully next year we can get a hot water tank um, get one of those uh, tankless propane ones to get some hot water here so right now we, we're stuck with boiling water um, and doing it the the old-fashioned way uh, but the goal is eventually to have some 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 hot water source here Eventually this stuff we're gonna make a box outside for it um, It's a little bit loud especially in the quiet nights if someone uses the bathroom um, It does make a good bit of noise and vibration. So our goal is at some point here to actually make a little outside area enclosed area to put all um, of this stuff so the pump and the battery so one last thing to add is we do have a backup water system and that is our rain barrel so um last year when our spring sprung a leak um we needed another source of water to have as a backup so we um, added these gutters last year, and so we hooked up um, this five, this 50 gallon drum. So we got another one, hooked this up as a rain barrel. And so this, this actually is multi-purpose now because it's actually nice to have a little wash station outside. Um, so this is sort of the, the rinse off, wash off. And then if needed, we can use it for toilet water if for some reason the spring dries up or we need something. So. That's sort of the backup if the, the spring isn't working, but again, we have found multiple uses for it, including washing hands, spraying off the side-by-side -side and quads, so it's definitely come into use. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you have any questions or comments uh, or suggestions about our little DIY water system, um, please leave a comment and let us know. See you soon.